Well, given all that, it's uh, clear that much more still needs to be done. And in fact, the BBC has just launched what it's calling a lifeline information service on the Viber chat app. We can give you the web page uh, that you should go to at uh, viber.com slash BBC Nepali to join it. And it's going to be posting public service and emergency information in both Nepalese and English uh, for all those affected by the earthquake who can uh, tap into that. And uh, to talk a bit more about it now is the BBC World Service apps editor, Trusha Barot. Uh, Trusha, g give me the picture. What, what are you trying to do here? So we're really trying to see what digital technologies are out there that could really help us extend our reach to as many people in Nepal as possible, um, primarily to try and deliver what we would consider sort of public health or emergency information that could really be of practical benefit to so people what, on the ground. So what sort of stuff, for example? So uh, at the moment, for example, a lot of our uh, focus is looking at um, continued aftershocks, you know, what sort of things people can do to potentially prepare themselves or what sort of uh, things that they should have or where the most safe places that they could be uh, staying could be. Um, we're also aware that there's a big sort of relief operation at the moment, so we're trying to get as much information uh, available that we can then push out about where the best places are to go to get relief supplies. Um, we're also very aware that as days go on, uh, public health is going to become an increasingly increasingly important issue. So situ issues like sanitation and just public safety. And so we're really trying to focus on what sort of information could be really useful for people on the ground there right. for that as well. Obviously, there's that snowball effect, isn't there? You've got, what, three and a half thousand? Yeah, we've had so about far? three and a half thousand subscribers from this morning's launch already. OK, well, let's hope we can build on that. I'm just going to see if I can dig up the... Uh, the address again, where is it? I've got it here somewhere. Um, so it's uh, viber.com uh, <laughs> forward slash BBC Nepali. And so as you mentioned, it will be uh, in Nepalese, um, but also in English as Great. well. Viber.com forward slash BBC Nepali. Great. Thanks very much, Trisha. Yep.